up everyone? Kyle here, otherwise known as Twisted 500, back with another video. Uh, I know it's been a while, I just want to make a little update video on the car. Um, still waiting on some parts. I know it's kind of the, the consensus with COVID. Um, there's a few things I have waiting to come in on the car. They said, we're done, just waiting on this one little thing. So it's annoying, um, but that's just how things are going right now. So hopefully it doesn't last too, too much longer. Uh, as you can see on the car, I have a carbon fiber hood. It's from Anderson Composites. Um, hood weighs half, a little, little less than half of what the factory hood does. Yeah, it's just in the background. Uh, this hood weighs half of what the factory hood does. Um, I think the weight of the hood is probably 24, 25 pounds because you got the hood vent, you got the hood latches, all that stuff. Install was actually really easy. The only hard part was the actual hood latches because on the other side of the top here, there's 3M double-sided adhesive. So that's a little hard to get off. Um, I'm not pretty self-explanatory. Just line it up before you tighten it all down. Um, yeah, so the only thing about the hood that I didn't really like was Anderson says you cannot use the factory hood a strut, even though they give you the factory location for it. Just pop the hood, just like factory. Look how clean that weave is. But if you look, they give you the factory hood strut location, but told you not to use it. So if they tell you not to use it or it's not recommended, then don't even include it. But that's just me. If someone there is going to, um, they're going to reinstall the factory hood strut, and they're going to break the hood. That's literally what Anderson says. If you use the factory hood strut, you'll break the hood. Um, so just don't include it. Don't give someone the option of doing that. That's just me. As you guys can see, the quality of it is amazing. I actually think it's better than some of the paint quality. Um, Ford OEM paint quality control is not great. A lot of 500 owners have had issues with that. But look at the weave. Perfect. You can see my reflection in there almost perfectly like it's like it's a mirror. It's carbon fiber, which I think is amazing. Yeah, and just to show how much lighter it is, with the um, factory hood, you'd lift it up and it'd feel heavy even with the hood strut. Here's one-handed carbon fiber hood, no hood prop, no hood strut, help me up. Super light. You can def you can feel the difference in the car. Uh, well, I guess the hood just by that change in weight So yeah, so once a few more parts come in um, I actually do have the carbon fiber deck lid or trunk deck lid This part right here uh, from Anderson. It's a carbon fiber. Um, I just thought it would look weird without a, a car would look weird without a rear spoiler um, So imagine this just without a rear, rear spoiler. I think it would have looked weird. So I have a carbon fiber drag wing coming in um, For those of you who don't know what drag wing looks like looks like this car So that is actually the Dragon Snake uh, from Shelby. It was a concept that they made early last year. Um, I don't think it got as much excitement as, as Shelby was hoping because people were turning these into drag cars. I thought the Dragon Snake concept was pretty cool. Drag car, it had smaller wheels up front, it had a good stance to it, drag wing. Um, but then Shelby got away from that and decided to do the uh, SE edition, which is more of a road course oriented car than a drag car. But I found out who uh, makes the drag wing that shall be used on their concept, and I got one coming, just waiting on literally struts for it. So like carbon fi it's made out of carbon fiber, the carbon fiber is done, just waiting on struts to prevent it from falling. So yeah, so this will be based off the dragon snake. Can't call this a dragon snake because Shelby is all up in their feels about stealing names. So if you guys think of a good name to call the car, let me know if, in the comments. If it's good enough, I'll include it. Uh, we'll just have to see if anything good comes up from it. But yeah, so full on drag car coming up. Light speed racings will be wheels will be coming off. I'll be throwing the skinnies back on. Uh, hoping to go some stupid, stupid numbers once all those other parts come in. Got some, we got all the things figured out that we were worried about. Now I'm just waiting for DA to get a little lower and just run a stupid, stupid number. But on top of that, uh, we have a parachute here. Ooh, nail got me. Uh, we'll be doing an install video of that parachute here coming up. Um, from what I've seen, it's pretty simple. Um, and I'll show you how much rocks collect at the underside 
of that windage tray in the back of the car. So yeah, coming out of the back of the car, you can see uh, rubber there. You can see <laughs> rocks built up there and rocks falling out just by tapping it. So yeah, rocks are falling out from that windage tray just by tapping it. There's going to be, um, I feel like there's gonna be so many rocks underneath it. So I'm gonna get that, take that off, clean that out, install video of the uh, the parachute here, uh, Stroud Parachute 430. It's the American flag one, which I think is pretty cool. Um, going to get the drag wing and carbon fiber decolate installed too, get you a video on that. And then all that should wrap up right around the time when streetcar takeover gets here. Uh, depending on weather and my schedule um, maybe FL2K depending if I can get the car down there and then mod max so all those should be plenty of good prep and good weather to get the car running a number that no Whipple car is going to be able to compete with I'm just saying that guys like all you like a lot of people are excited for the Whipple to come out twins is going to be the way to go so yeah we'll get the parachute on get some records destroyed this fall uh, Hopefully y'all will enjoy the ride. It's been fun changing this car for what's become. Uh, can't wait to start setting records with it. Hope y'all enjoy. See y'all soon.